Hey there, Nick Trentakis here. In this video, we're gonna go over a couple of different ways to stylize your imports in Python, specifically when you're dealing with importing multiple things from one file. So for example, let me check out this app.py file. And by the way, this code repo is available on GitHub right now. It's my Docker Flask example application. So if you wanna follow along, it's in this hello directory, app.py, and that's what we're looking at here. It may change by the time you're watching this video, but specifically, we're going to focus on the imports on top here, not related to Flask at all. And even more specifically, you know, we're not gonna go over things like, well, should imports go on top and then, you know, separate things things out between third-party libraries and your own code. No, uh, that is definitely maybe a video topic on its own. But for this video, we're going to focus specifically on how these things are imported right here from this extensions file. So for example, if you know, if I go to this extensions file, I just have three things down here that, that are defined and I'm importing them here in this app.py file. And if you look at that, you know, there's multiple ways to write this, right? You can do hello uh, extensions like this, and then you can do db debug toolbar, flask static address like this, and this would be totally valid. Uh, another way to do this would be well, we can just break these out into multiple lines, right? You can use parentheses here and drop these onto their own new lines at the end here. And then uh, I can do this and then that. And then, you know, this is horribly, horribly formatted, but you know, you get the idea, right? You can do this and then however, uh, maybe like if you're using like a black formatting tool or something, it may make it look like this, right? So long story short, this, this, and this all do the same thing. So we're just importing multiple things from one file, but which option do you choose? So lately I've actually been rolling with this first choice here. And at first glance, you might be thinking like, well, that's kind of wasteful. Like look how many extra lines you need to write. And what happens if you, you know, change this file name, you need to do it in three spots. But I don't know, it's growing on me because, and by the way, let me know your preference in the comments below, either right now, pause the video, go drop in a comment, or maybe wait until the end to see like uh, my comparison here and let me know which one you're gonna choose. But the reason why I am starting to like this style a lot more is uh, recently, I was doing some client work. Now, I can't show that code because it's, you know, private code for them. But, you know, it's a pretty big Flask application. They have four developers working on the project. And one developer was doing some refactoring. Another developer was uh, modifying one of the files that was being refactored. And, you know, they were doing their imports like this. Well, pretty standard, right? You would see this in a lot of different Python projects. And the situation was uh, one person removed something from the import and another person added something from the import. And, uh, you know, they decide to use feature branches there. So uh, there ended up being a merge conflict between both of those developers code because, you know, one time, you know, at one point one was deleted at the other point, someone it was added and Git was like, well, you know, it's both on the same line, like which one do we keep? So there was a merge conflict and uh, doing this style here completely avoids that conflict because uh, you know, each individual import is on its own line. So, you know, it's just removing one line and adding one line. So there's no conflict. So that, that is pretty interesting. But, you know, if you start maybe thinking like, well, technically, wouldn't this also solve that same problem? And totally right, right? Like these are all on their separate line. But let's be real now, right? If you're writing like idiomatic Python code, chances are, if you have just a couple of imports, you're probably gonna do the one-liner because, you know, it fits within, you know, whatever linting or code formatting tool that you use when it comes to like the column count, right? 80 if you're using Flaygate by default, maybe 88 if you're using black, otherwise, you know, maybe you might configure black to be to 80. But in other words, uh, probably gonna do this when it's short, probably gonna do this when it's longer. Uh, there's other ways to format this as well, right? Like this could be more indented over here and, and less lines, like if you happen to be uh, importing like 15 of these instead of three, but I don't know, b besides the merge conflict thing, uh, when I start thinking about it like that, it's like, well, okay, I wanna import something from a file. Like that is the real goal, right? Import something from a file. If I don't stick to this format here where everyone is on its own line, suddenly I need to make decisions every single time I'm uh, importing something, especially if there's more than one uh, from a specific file, because now it's like, well, do I do it like this where they're all on one line? Do I do it like this where they're all on multiple lines? And you know how it is too, like if I, if I take this and just like drop it into the middle here, like to me, this starts looking visually unpleasant, right? Like, I don't know, everything is broken up. It's a little bit weird to read. I, I just don't like it. Uh, you know, I'm not saying I am correct and everyone else is wrong if they happen to prefer that. But yeah, for me, it just doesn't look visually appealing. Let me also go back to bring this down here. There we go. So we just, so we have all the examples. So, you know, that's kind of why I'm leaning towards using this nowadays. Uh, it is a little bit more typing in some cases, right? Because now we have this extension thing duplicated multiple times, but that's not really a pretty big deal at all because a lot of code editors, no matter which one you use, you know, it's very easy to do multiple editing, you know, just like that. And 
it's very easy to do those refactorings. And there's another potential gotcha too around doing it this way that is a little bit inconvenient, right? Like if you want to start alphabetizing all of your imports, then if you have them on multiple lines like this, you can just run like a sort, right? If I actually move the DD or DB one down to the bottom here and I select this and I just run sort, DB is going to jump to the top. And very easy to sort that. Uh, if you do that down here and I just take DB or whatever and remove it, and then I guess put it down on the end of the line and I just try to like select that and sort it, like it's not gonna do anything, right? Cause how is it gonna know to like sort this part of the line? So that's an advantage. I, I know technically if you do it this way, you can absolutely sort that. That's gonna be no problem at all. You know, I guess I'll just demonstrate it for completeness sake here. But if I do this and select it and I sort it, it's gonna be all good. And also by the way, uh, another, I guess disadvantage potentially of doing this style where you have each one on its own line like this, um, is this trailing comma, right? So it's pretty good formatting. Like if you happen to be using black specifically, you know, it, it's gonna definitely add trailing commas to every single item in the list, even for the last one. Um, technically not a list, like not important, right? But if you don't do that and you decide like maybe you decide to sort this alphabetically because it's already not in order, like suddenly this one without the comma ends up like in the middle of somewhere and you get syntax errors. So it's like one more thing to think about you know, unless you remember to add a comma or you just keep running black, which honestly probably is a good idea anyways. But yeah, long story short, put all that together and I am a fan of doing it this way. I don't mind the extra lines too, because let's uh, be totally real now, right? Like, uh, well, it's a good example because this, this actually probably needs to compile. So if I do like from Flask import, I don't know, like uh, request blueprint, I'm just like eyeballing or thinking about names that uh, Flask has that I can, uh, imports here. Render template is one of them. Ah, there's URL four. Uh, I think there's like a flash. Yep. That uh, basically where I'm going with this is if this ends up to be more than 80 characters long and you run black against this, it is going to format it like this, or at least pretty like, you know, something in this neighborhood where it's going to break them up into uh, lines. So, you know, even if you are importing a lot of stuff from a single file, then you're not really saving a ton of lines anyways, because this is going to be expanded out to be uh, as many lines as it needs to be versus this one as well. And if you want to get, you know, really picky here, this trailing parenthesis here actually adds one extra line versus doing it this way, right? Uh, I guess technically two extra lines because uh, there's the opening parenthesis on its own line, closing parenthesis on its end here, and then you have the three in the middle. So this whole entire thing is taking up five lines, whereas this one is only taking up three. So you're actually saving space in that regard. Uh, but, you know, there's this case here where it all fits on one line. Yeah, you are saving some space there, but we all, you know, we already went over how weird it is to sort that or dealing with merge conflicts. So, yeah, let me know in the comments below which style you prefer. I'm going to start rolling with this style here. Uh, and actually, in this repo, I did make a recent commit to that this morning where I just, just optimized uh, the import style here. And I made a little git commit message here, just going over like, hey, by the way, reduces merge conflicts and kind of nice to just glance at that and see what's imported. So yeah, with that said, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, if, you like the, uh, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up because it really helps. And on that note, I will see you in the next video.